Hello, family. This is Lisa Gordon from Gordon Ministries and Jesus City Church. And I'd like to encourage you today on a message I've entitled, Who You Are in Christ Jesus. Do you really know who you are? I'm not talking about who you are because of your parents, your background, or your upbringing. I'm talking about who you are in Christ Jesus. Most people know who they are in the natural realm as it relates to their family, but when it comes to their true identity in Christ Jesus and what that entails, they do not really have a clue. So often, people have a hard time identifying with Jesus because they relate to their physical, natural identities and the things they can perceive with their senses more than they do with Him. In addition to this, they equate their outward behavior and their, with their identity and think that what they do is who they are. When we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we became one with Him. Knowing who you are in Christ Jesus is the catalyst for walking in the power of God and demonstrating that power to the world. The knowledge of who we are in Christ is so vital to our confidence as Christians, and it is the area in which Satan will consistently attack us. In fact, he attacked Jesus in the area of identity when he was fasting in the wilderness for 40 days and nights. When Satan tried to question Jesus' identity in the wilderness, Jesus responded with the Word of God. See Matthew 4, 1-7. When Satan said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Once Satan realized that Jesus did not have an identity problem, he left him alone. Likewise, when Satan comes to attack our identity in Christ, we must remind him of what is written, and he'll leave us alone too. By constantly looking into the mirror of God's Word, we're able to maintain a consistent awareness of our identity in Christ. The Word will tell us exactly who we are and what we look like from God's perspective. It will also reveal to us any area of our lives that may not line up with God's Word. I encourage you to identify with the identity that God has given you. Embrace the mindset that Jesus has about his identity for your lives. After all, you have the mind of Christ and are the righteousness of God by faith. No matter what you face in life, you are more than a conqueror in his eyes. When you walk in your identity, you will send the devil running in the opposite direction. Hallelujah. Well, that's it for today. God bless you guys. I pray that you were encouraged. And if you were and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate or text to give at 888-508-4830 and text the word give. Well, God bless you. And I encourage you to know your identity in Christ Jesus. Bye for now.